Good morning, everyone. It's seven o'clock. I am Chelsea Jones. I'm Chris Demersion. We got Reed Leibarger again. Reed, we mentioned it all morning long on our sister station, NBC 10. Yeah. Tough, tough storms coming in town. Yeah, now that the sun's coming up, we're getting a much better look at some of that damage from Lincoln Parish and Ruston. Make sure you're checking in with your folks if they go to Louisiana Tech, if they live in Ruston. Extensive damage, and we are starting to see it in the videos and the photos. You'll get a pretty good first-hand look with Brian up here shortly. Our forecast for today, we're still dealing with showers and storms this morning, mainly south of I-20 and east of Monroe. Expect that to last now. The main severe threat that's done with. More of a scattered look with some sunshine by the afternoon. Here's a look at that radar loop of the past hour. Severe thunderstorm from Tattahoola, Concordia, parts of Tensaw Parish. Those expire within the next 30 to 45 minutes. Then we're going to start to dry out. We're going to have a better look at what's going on outside. Coming up shortly, that's your forecast first. All right, thanks, Reed. We're going to stick to our weather coverage. Louisiana State Police Trooper Michael Reichardt confirmed that Governor John Bill Edwards will be in Ruston this afternoon to survey the damages. That's right, and our content partners at the New Star are reporting that two people have died in Ruston during this tornado. LA Tech, Lincoln Parish Schools, LDCC, Ruston Campus are all closed. No word on if Grambling State is closed just yet, but Fox 14's Brian Briggs is live in Ruston where he tells us power is out all over the city and debris is everywhere. Brian. Yeah, that's right, Chris. It's uh, not a good scene here as the sun continues to come up this morning. If you just take a quick look behind me. You can see that Strip Mall on the other side took a direct hit from uh, this tornado damage. That tree clearly snapped off right there. The power line's down, and that gas station completely demolished. Looks like that one got most of the, the uh, damage there. As you can see, the sleep in on the other side of the street did fare a little bit better here with so, just some minor roof damage from what we can tell, but the sign completely knocked out at this point. And uh, still seeing some tree damage here on the other side, but Lincoln Parish Library looks to be untouched for the most part here, but the Jiffy Lube also, uh, that we, we're seeing actually some uh, mechanical parts kind of spread out over this area. So so this area is going to be hit. Even actually just taking a look down the street, we could probably see some uh, residential areas right there, and there are collapsed roofs. So that's kind of in the vicinity, too, where those two fatalities were reported, unfortunately. And um, cleanup is now underway. It has begun pretty much immediately now that the sun is up here. And uh, we're going to continue to give you more information as we get, as we get it available. But uh, just to let people know, if you don't have to come down here, please don't. Uh, the, the EMS workers and officials need all all the room that they can get to kind of start cleanup efforts. So again, um, also Highway 167 bridge at I-20 is closed uh, due to damage. They need to inspect that before they can reopen it. And um, it looks like appears like the other bridge on the other side is also closed until further notice. So again, we'll continue to give you updates as information keeps trickling in live in Ruston. I'm Brian Briggs, Fox 14 News. All right, thanks, Brian. I'm going to check in with you a little bit later on. Chelsea, we were just talking about it. Hard to believe. We know with the sun coming up, we're exactly. seeing more of the damage all, over all morning Parish. long and you're getting to see it really well exactly. now that the sun is up. It is devastating. I mean, there. we just didn't realize the extent of the damage and now you see it right there with the sun being up. Exactly. It's just I mean, Never thought this would happen. No, we didn't think this would happen at all. And now we see what's out there. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, also more photos coming in this morning. This is Louisiana Tech's baseball field. Pat Patterson Park at Love Field suffered major damage. That's just over the right field wall over there. Right, and this picture is sent in from our news director, Andy Peterson. This is the Valero Station on Frontage Road in Ruston. Hey, and right down the street, that Texaco Station also on Frontage taking a huge hit from these storms. And this is from where Ryan Briggs was a little earlier. It was a little darker. This is right off of exit 84 and you can see debris is everywhere. Again, more coverage throughout the morning. Surveillance video gives us more insight into what happened at a town hall meeting earlier this month. We were the first to bring you a woman's claim that Richwood's police chief manhandled her, but Richwood police have also closed that investigation. That's exactly right. They say surveillance video shows no signs of physical contact or excessive force, but Barbara Sydney is sticking to her story. Fox 14's Anna McAllister has that story. It all started with a mic. A heated debate ensued earlier this month at a Richwood town hall meeting. During that meeting, Barbara Sidney says Richwood's chief of police, Johnny Cleveland, aggressively snatched the mic from her. She says the mayor ordered it to be taken away. I was, I was abused unnecessarily. She filed a complaint with the town. Richwood PD investigated the matter. They say the surveillance video clears the police chief of any wrongdoing. We showed that to the board members present. They did review the tape. Uh, on that night, again, four members present, uh, and each one of them uh, 
came to the basically the same conclusion that there was no uh, excessive force used. Mayor Brown says Miss Sydney was speaking loudly at the meeting after being asked to lower her voice several times. That's when Chief Cleveland allegedly asked another officer to retrieve the mic. Sydney says regardless of what the video shows, there's witness testimony to back her up. Whatever the film may show, you have a room full of people, including two representatives sitting in this room that witnessed what happened. Sydney says the incident left bruising on her arm. Mayor Brown says that could have been caused by her reluctance to release the mic. The only way I can explain maybe some pain or anything like that, perhaps if she had, you know, a tight grip on it, uh, you know, and, and them trying to get it from her. Sydney says her next move is to seek legal advice. I don't have anything to say to them about this. I'm going to let the attorney say something to them. Reporting in Richwood, Adam McAllister, Fox 14 News. Now, Mayor Brown says the Richwood police handled that incident appropriately based on their training. Riser Middle School students and teachers are remembering the life of 13 year old Sebastian Martinez. Sebastian drowned less than two weeks ago in a drainage ditch near his home in Bauckhamville. School leaders tell us they decided to hold the memorial to show support for the students and Martinez's family. They planted three rose bushes as well as a, sm a small magnolia tree, a daily reminder for those who love him to keep his spirit alive. He kept me from committing suicide. Just hearing him laugh. And I have a purpose. We want to plant new life roots in everywhere where Sebastian had roots in this area. So it's been both schools he attended as well as the Boys and Girls Club. A tree was also planted at Linwell Elementary School. Students wrote cards for Sebastian's family. Faculty says they've also received donations to pay for the memorial and a small gift for the family. Hey, Chelsea, we were talking about it all morning long. It is the, it's coming out of crunch time. Uh huh. In the next 24 hours, you better buy your St. Jude You better buy your St. Jude tickets. Better buy There's it only 1,400 left. Exactly. You're about to have no opportunity to get this amazing house. And you could be in the running for a, a pretty nice car. A whip. We had the whip earlier. You got to stay tuned. A 2019 <laughs> Hey, I'll, I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's not, I've seen that car the other day. It's pretty, pretty and nice. And I've seen the house. It's nice. Yeah. Be sure to call 800-726-9874. 800-726-9874 right now. Make those phones ring. More after the break. And we got the commute cast. There it is. Look at that red light, as you can imagine. Horrible commute. We got down power lines all across Union Parish, Lincoln Parish, and debris everywhere. If you're traveling down I-20, again, Bienville, Union, Lincoln Parish. Not ideal. Also had a confirmed tornado down in LaSalle Parish this morning. Got all these details talking about what's happening right now. We come back on Fox 14, your morning news.